defensive spell is ten times stronger than yours. Here we have the Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, the video from the Raspberry Pi 3 comes through the 3.5 mm jack here. So to get the video from the Raspberry Pi we are going to need a 3.5 mm jack. In the market we are going to find two types of jacks. We need the one which has four connections and not the three connection ones because these are usually used for just the audio, this is the left, this is the right and the ground but we need also the video from it so we need four points so now let's just check the connections As you can see here these are the pinout pads, the pinout pad 24 is the composite video, the pinout pad 25 is the left audio and 26 is the right audio. 25 is the left audio which is this, so this is the left audio and 26 is the right audio and this should be the video and let's see which is the ground. And right here you can see the pinout pad 6. This is the grounding. Now let's check which one of these is the ground and which is the video and which is the audio cable. I believe this should be the video. So this is for this is for the composite video and this one let's see what this is so this is the left audio And this one is the right audio so eventually this one should be the grounding yes so this one is the grounding and this is the right audio this is the left audio and this is the composite video so let's solder them now To do that I have some multi threaded wires and of different colors so that it will be distinguishable. Now for the composite video we are going to take the yellow colored wires so and also to connect them we will need this RCA female ports and three of them for the left right audio and the video and we are going to use this right now.
these have some kind of screws so you can put this on a board but right now I am not gonna do that we'll do it later let's see about this much wire should be okay I guess we have a yellow colored wire here the right audio is usually red so we're gonna take the red color wire and the last we need the black color wire for the left audio and also we need a ground wire which will be green So we have our wires here. So now that I have stripped all the wires, it's time to just solder it. Here's my soldering gun, here are this is the solder and this is the flux. So this one is the left audio. Let me put the wire first. If they touch each other then the signal will get distorted and you won't see anything or hear anything. So now let's find which is the right audio. And let's see if any wire is shorted and I think there are some wires which are shorted. Let's just check the cables if they are correctly connected. Okay, connect this here. Put away this wire. Here. These are the connections. So let's first check the video wire. This should go to the this test point. So as you can see the video wire is correct, the right audio, it should be one of these, ok so this is the right audio and this, is, this should be the left audio which should be the black, black one, this is the black one and, and there we go this is also working, let's check last the green which is the ground wire and it should this the pp6 and there we go this also works so finally we are going to solder this into the rc connectors these are the rc connectors that are that i will be using the ones on your tv would be white yellow and uh, probably red 
but I could not get a white one so I got a black one and that's okay we just need to make the connections we don't care about the color So now all the connections are made and I've also connected the RCA cable, the red one goes to the red one, the white one goes to the black one and the yellow one goes to the yellow one. And now I just need to check if they are connected in the right way. I have my multimeter here to check the continuity and check which is connected to what. All of them are firmly connected and here let's check if it's actually connected in the right way. Yep, it does actually work. Now let's check the right audio. I believe this was the right audio. Yep, that's the right audio and this should be the left audio. Yep, that's right. And the, all the grounding will be connected to this port. Where's the P6? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's connected. Let's check this guy's grounding. That's fine. And the yellow one's crowning. And that also is working. Now finally we need to test it on the TV. So let's head there. Let's see how the connections are made. We have our RCA cables here. The power goes in through this cable. And here's our Raspberry Pi. Let's turn it on. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi is on. It's blinking, but let's see. Here we have our video. And there we go. It works fine.